the ballistas only run i can try that i honestly don't i feel like to do that to do ballistas only i feel like you kind of want to almost reset your upgrades so you don't have you only get stuff that you want to get um and you don't have your like you'd have to if you reset this i would have to go farm back experience but i'll give it a try i'll give ballistas only a shot um see what happens it would be a lot easier if you were to uh reset your tree and only unlock stuff that is useful for the run which is kind of annoying i think a little bit um we'll farm we might have to remove some of those because i think you have to you have to go for the uh ballistas doing uh damage stuff i want to take banditry but yeah i'm going to take it i'll probably regret that um let's go we got to switch these around a little bit so they're not uh we'll go progress plus one shields sure we got to be a bit careful about uh all these guys are going to overkill back here so we got to switch up the targeting I want this guy on most health Plus one range. Uh, I kind of want the poison. Yeah, we'll get range. We are getting a reasonable number of houses. That's decent. I definitely have to get something for mana as well. I have to get the mana bank. Um. See, this is the problem, right? Like, what do I get? I guess I can get the slow, but sure. Like, that does something for me. Theoretically. I don't know. Can you get po Yeah, I think you, you can get poison on these, uh, the ballistas. I think. I don't know. Um, yeah, but okay, let's switch this up a little bit fastest. Most health. Okay, now, now there's a lot of stuff I want. I think the damage is more important than the slow. We need the mana bank. Maybe, you know what, I actually have... Uh, yeah, I have some base regen, so I actually could have... No, I think this is the best choice. Get the mana bank first. Otherwise, we can start running out of mana, and that sucks. Um... And the thing I'm not sure about is, like, is it actually worthwhile for me to have these around here versus having it up on the plus three? I actually think this plus two spot's a bit better. Once we get range upgrades, or even right now, like, it covers a better area. Poison damage, I think that that's what we're going to go for. No, we're getting mana bolts. We definitely, like, we're going hard into mana bolts. Which means I have to be very careful right now, because I actually think I'm going to run out of mana. Build my mana farm back here. Yeah. Honestly, I think like I mean there's a some there's some chance that I think you can RNG to win this, but I think if you really want to do we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. But I think if you really want to do this challenge you have to reset your experience and only unlock stuff that is going to be useful for doing this challenge. Because, like, once you hit... Like, I mean, you saw how many units there were, right? Um, like, at the end, like, in waves, like, maybe even 30 plus, there just starts to be so many units that it's crazy.
Okay, we're gonna get this guy on most armor. We're gonna give him some armor upgrades. Yeah, my mana is surprisingly decent. Um, I think, yeah, I do want to get banditry, but I think mana bolts is just like, that's where all my damage is coming from. But I think we definitely want to make sure we get another uh, mana bank here. Health. Yeah, okay, we, we made it down to about half mana. We can get Siphon, which is in a more efficient way to get mana. Um, eventually, we're going to get Poison. Kind of stuck between these two things. Yeah, we'll just get this. The mana bank's like... I actually don't know the difference in efficiency. We're kind of hoping that we can wrap around somehow. That would definitely help us. Is if we can get like a, a kind of a loop thing going where like these towers can attack multiple times. I'm not going to use this house, I don't think. This is going to be another most armor guy. We're going to dump a bit of gold into him. Then we're going to get, I think, some uh, shield attackers eventually, once we get past level 15. Yeah, good. We're taking the armor off in one hit now. Most health. Let's give that guy a bit of an upgrade. Yeah, it's pretty decent. We'll see. We'll see if this comes back around. I'll be happy. Uh, I guess banditry. Yeah. Okay, we got a split there. Once we get range upgrade, these guys might be able to attack. Either way, we're gonna get we're gonna get a tile here, so we'll be able to do something. Yeah, I'm a little bit worried about my mana. Okay, my armor guys are not quite doing enough. Ooh, okay. Yeah, we're gonna get another most armor. Maybe I should just upgrade and not build more. I'm kind of worried about expanding here and like, yeah, it's nice that these guys are going to get to attack, but uh, it's 
going to burn through my mana pretty quickly. Uh, Bandit Tree 3. Thank you. Interesting. So this is like... We're going to have like a spiral thing, right? I don't actually know what's going to happen. Because eventually... I don't think I'm going to be able to expand, right? Like, I, this is going to get completely filled in in the center. Is there another... I almost want to unlock another tower because I want to see what happens once we fill in this entire area. Because there's like, there's not enough places to expand for the amount of levels that are left. Uh, anyways, let's keep upgrading armor damage. Yeah, I'm fascinated to see what will happen. Ten percent crits. Yep, that was pretty easy choice. We don't have the slow, do we? No, we don't. Okay. That's something I got to keep my eye out for. See, that's the thing where, like, uh, having stuff not unlocked, I would just be able to pick and choose is pretty much exactly what I want to get. But we got, like, a bunch of towers, and we got a bunch of, like, random other stuff that I just, like, I don't care about. Ooh, interesting. I almost want to put in a least health with these guys. So after we kill the armor, it kills off the... Uh... We'll do that. So, uh, least health. I'll give it a little bit of extra damage. 5% slow. Yep. Fuck with that. There's Oogie. I think we're kind of fine. Um... I'm a little worried about my mana situation, so I'm going to get one more of these. He's all HP, so let's go with a um, another most HP thing here. Health damage, health damage, health damage. I want to make sure that that guy can actually kill those. I think he can. Um. I want to make sure that he's max slowed as he comes through here. Like, I don't mind if this other stuff leaks through. That'll get cleaned up. But I want to make... Yeah, okay, we're fine. We're fine. Crossbolts 2, I guess. Yeah, sure. See what we get from the treasure chest. Okay, I love that. Plus one range is really nice for us to get. Okay, I think I have to get a little bit more mana now.
Ooh, oh uh, shit. We have shields out. I forgot about that. Most shields. Great shield damage. Yep, that's I think gonna be fine. I want it where it'll attack. Yeah, I guess it'll attack it'll attack this. Yeah, it's a bit of a it's a bit of a cursed map. Most shields. Dumping a little bit of money into that. So how much money am I actually getting from these? Okay. I guess they paid for themselves then. I kind of feel like it's forced me to... I don't know if it's worth it because I feel like it forces me to buy more mana banks. I don't know. Whatever. It's a reasonably large amount of gold though. Plus one to shields. Uh, yeah, I guess I just don't have anything else to choose other than the burn, but we don't even have burn yet, so. Okay, so we've got this path. We've got two more levels before we figure out what's up. I'm gonna go for a most shields here. And then I think we'll get an armor as well for, for picking off armor that comes out of that. Or you know what, actually, these ones are going to take care of that, no problem. Um, I potentially actually want an armor here as I pull this lane down. Is that what happens? Is it just auto plays? Ah, okay. Good to know, good to know. This, okay, that might be a little bit difficult to do the all ballista on this map. We'll see, we'll see. Maybe it's actually better that it, uh... I have no fucking clue, to be honest. Whatever. We'll just roll with it. See what happens. Plus three. Let's go. Maybe another armor one. That'd be interesting, only one spawn point. Yeah. Like this is a pretty nice little like pathway that it takes. Even this is not bad. There's a good amount of loop around. Yeah, this is the first time I've had this happen. All right, buddy. Okay, we'll just do this and then I can sell this. Demolish. Um. Do I get the crit or do I get yeah I guess I, I guess I go for the crit um I kind of want to bleed them dry because eventually I get bleed but I don't know when that happens and this this should also be able to shoot over into here right yeah so let's go for a most shields on this this can be a shield guy. I've got to watch my mana. Yeah, we're going to go for a, a mana. I think I have to pick up some fastest ones. Now I got fastest in progress here, right? Uh, let's go for you on fastest. It is, I, I kind of enjoy the, like, it's surprisingly, considering you're only building one tower that has a single target, I kind of like it because you're, like, forced to really think about your target priorities. I don't quite get how this ordering is, is chosen. Like, if there's, is it just, like, if something has no armor, then it goes to progress, I guess? I don't know. Okay, I think we want to get a little bit extra armor damage. Alrighty. Uh, all poisoned enemies take 
Okay, I guess I need to get poison first for that to be useful. Why do those numbers keep going down after you buy the upgrade? Um, I'm not sure what numbers you mean, to be honest. I guess like here is probably one of my better areas to build because these guys get to attack twice. The extra armor damage. Um, so this is my armor multiplier and my armor damage here. So I don't know if maybe you're... So these guys, these numbers, the cost goes down when they attack. Oh, beneath demolish. So these goes, the cost goes down as they attack or something like that. It's something to do with what damage they do. So if they do damage to health, uh, the health cost will go down. So they automatically level up. Like you can look and see. Yeah, see like this guy's level three. I've never leveled him up. And you can see that bar here, right? As they do the damage, these bars get filled up and the cost goes down and they auto level up. Um, so, okay, now, okay, I have a lot of gold actually. Interesting. Let's uh, spend a bit on my armor. I think I need to spend a bit on my shields as well. We do really need to get the, um, the like percent damage stuff. Okay, I'm worried about my mana actually now that I just bought a range upgrade. That's gonna be a huge mana burn for me, yep. Okay. All right. Okay, well that's not bad now. That was, I maybe shouldn't have gotten that upgrade. We're doing pretty decent. I mean, I think I really, I really need to get the the burn and poison and all that stuff going on these though. I think that that's going to actually be a bit of a big issue. Okay, that has pretty good range. Let's go for a most shield on this guy, I guess. I think I want to start leveling stuff up more than building more just in terms of like managing my mana. I guess I get this in hopes that I get. Yeah, I need I need to get those burn and poison and uh, bleeds going. I think is kind of big. Yeah, I think the distance. So this is my shortest distance is this path. I think once we get the stuff that spawns other stuff, this is going to be really difficult. Because by the time I kill it, it'll probably be over here and then it'll spawn a bunch of stuff. We'll see how it goes, but I am not super hopeful on um, necessarily beating this. No, I don't love that positioning. I'm just going to upgrade. definitely a a bit of a slow run with all the uh slow that we do poison enemies take one extra shield damage that would be very nice if we had any source of poison and i think that that's the only thing worth taking though most shields keep that upgraded what is this guy this is most shield as well
Fastest, fastest. Okay, we got a mix of fastest and progress here. Most health, that works. Progress, okay, let's give this guy a little bit extra damage. Okay, I can have some extra damage too. I think my mana's okay for now. Tempted to put in an armor ballista here. Maybe I don't need it. This hits here, it hits here, it hits here. This hits that hits a lot of places. I don't know what I'm gonna make that yet though. Okay. I guess this. There is, yeah, ballistas definitely do get um, bleed, poison, and, and burn. I just have to roll them. I think we're gonna go shield on this. It's actually doing surprisingly well. I'm uh, I'm curious to see once we get past 25, what'll happen. I feel like there's oh, it's always a bit of a power spike right after a boss. I feel like I have literally so many things that are like poison damage based, but I don't have any poison damage. I'm getting trolled by the game. Okay, maybe need more armor damage. Maybe not. I think maybe just... Oh, mana. Yep. A little bit of mana. The other thing is, uh, like, if you look at the upgraded ones, it's 11 a shot versus uh, 4 a shot. So it is, it's still, like, the efficiency is still better overall. But uh, you do, you end up using more ant mana when you're upgrading. It's sometimes, like, you don't really think about it because you're just upgrading, you're not building more. Look at that. That was beautiful timing there for the poison. Everybody's pogging. We're fucking up that. Damn. Like I built I built these two towers over here to um, slow him down. But uh, yeah, don't need it. Demolish. Demolish. How's my mana doing? Flirting with some having some problems. We'll buy another.
Yeah, I am uh, quite happy we got that poison then. Definitely still quite a lot of shields. What do we get for our treasure chest? Only one. Only one. Burn faster based on how much slow they have. That could be really good for us if we actually ever get any burn. Um, because we are slowing stuff for sure. Plus three, that seems pretty good. Bleeding enemies. Uh, this is a little bit tough. Either we get the extra poison damage, which I don't know that we actually benefit from. I feel like it's hard to tell whether or not we we cap out on poison or not. I think the extra plus one damage we'll take for now. Because that gets us towards getting that those crit upgrades. All right, I got to spend my money here. Um, no, I don't want to upgrade that one. Most shields. Yeah, we'll give you a little bit. A little bit of juice. Shield damage. Um, let's give these guys just a little bit of juice. I'm not quite sure what I want to upgrade. Most shield, most shield. Okay, I think health is actually kind of what I, what I need to do now. Go ahead and do that. Grab a mana bank as I spend a bunch of money. Progress. Let's go most health on this guy. Another most health over here. Oh, twenty-five percent burn. I like that. So we've got the burn. Um, heavy shafts. I think the burning is uh, is independent of. Is heavy shafts the plus one damage to armor? Those ones all all the plus X damage to shields, armor, or health eventually go into crit chance, I think. I could be wrong. Uh, see, now the issue is there's just a lot of fucking units now, and I'm like... Alright, we need a mana bank for sure. Probably two. I wish you could look at the upgrade tree in uh, when you're in game. Okay, what's up with these guys? Uh, I need bleed. For sure, I need bleed. Those guys are regening a lot. It's a bit of an issue. Because my uh, my ballistas, like if I have them set to most HP. They end up like switching between the targets, which is a little annoying. Yeah. All right, so we're hoping for bleed. That would be a big improvement for us. Um, I guess we take this. I'm gonna like run out of room for mana banks. <coughs> uh, 
You could need it. I'm, I'm not sure. I think I'm pretty sure like the plus ones lead into crit. I could be wrong. I'm pretty sure that's how it works for uh, the mortar tower. But uh, yeah, yeah, you can see like them regenning. That's a problem for me for sure. Maybe I should just be building up more like in this last little area. Um, so I want my progress guy here, more HP damage on him. Yeah, more HP damage on this guy too. Yeah, I think without bleed, it's just super tough. Like you can see them, you have their health ticking back up. If I don't get bleed this next, I think I'm okay this round, but I think the next round, if I don't get bleed, I'm gonna be in trouble. Also because I have, I like, I can leak like three guy or whatever. I don't know, a bit more than three. I think I take, I'm not sure how much damage I take. I think I take something like five with my bandit tree. Maybe not that much, but oh, I might actually even lose this one. Yeah, we definitely need that bleed. Ooh, it's possible we lose here. No, okay, so I take four. I can take two more. Ah. Uh... That is a little bit tough. All right, we uh, guess we get this. Maybe the poison. Um, yeah, we're gonna maybe just like upgrade in this last little zone. More, let's go progress. Bunch of progress ones, and then just like hope that we can kill these. I'm gonna actually put these onto progress so they're not like switching targets they're just all just like skull fucking one unit I gotta watch my mana too Uh, I think I, yeah, I think I have Heavy Shafts one. Maybe. I'm not sure. Okay. I think the poison damage actually is helping us quite a bit. In terms of counteracting the, uh, the regen on these guys. Go put you on progress as well. Okay, plus one damage to health. Yeah, sure. We don't really have much of a choice. Okay, I think we need another mana bank by the looks of it. Everybody, uh, we're praying for bleed next upgrade. See, that's the thing I was talking about is like, if you actually want to do this blister challenge, I think that you have to reset your skill tree and only unlock stuff that you want for this challenge, which would be pretty annoying. Because one, well, I, to be honest, I could probably just find the save file and save my current unlocks. Because you'd have to go unlock, um, whatever you need and then once you're done that you probably want to go unlock everything again and that is a little bit too much 
we are doing somehow a lot better than we were than that uh, that one one round there fastest progress i like that i think i'm gonna get some more armor damage trail of blood bleeding enemies which would be nice Oh, I guess I oh I can't get any uni the other thing about that portal thing I didn't think about is you can't get any universities, um, which is I think that that's another thing that would make this a lot easier for like your levels forty plus is having those universities. Um, Guarantee bleed next upgrade. Okay, well maybe maybe the next next upgrade we'll go for it. Uh, how's my mana? We're looking okay. Can do with a little bit more armor damage, I think. Yeah, there is. So if we uh, we manage to beat this, which I, I honestly I don't think we will. I don't think that it's like it's possible to do. I feel like the bl only ballista challenge is probably one of the harder ones, if not the hardest. And to do it without universities and to do it with this short of a path, I don't know that it's doable. If we get really lucky getting like bleed and then we, ha we have to get like all of the the like dot stuff basically um yeah i guess so i i kind of want uh, later i'll unlock university if i still have time for the crit um shields We're honestly, I, I'm a lot farther than I thought. I thought like after 25, we'd just start to get like bullied down by just being too many units. I gotta watch out. Like I have a lot of these on progress and I think I'm overkilling a little bit. On the other hand, like without bleed, we have to focus fire a little bit because of the regen. Ooh, we got some armor units coming through. One of these guys, armor? No. Okay, what's this guy? Progress. Let's go. Most armor. Yeah, this is looking a little dangerous here. We can take two hits. We can take one hit. Okay, that was pretty fucking close. Um, maximum burn. I think I just need to get broadheads on the offhand. That gives me enough extra damage. Um, yeah, let's go for this and actually get this guy a little bit more. Let that guy hit stuff. Armor was a problem for us last round. Let's go mana bank. This is another no. Where are my armor going? This most armor so let's give you an armor upgrade yeah we're okay on mana
I did get more burn though, didn't I? I just leveled up my burn. Is that right? I feel like that's what I just chose. So I'm actually probably fine on armor now. I say that, but stuff with armor is clearly getting through, so... We are coming up close to the boss room. Which gives me... I To be honest, the other thing that we got unlucky on is I think I've got... I got like... I did not get very many chests from the bosses we've killed. That was surprisingly decent. Uh, Max... Oh! Pog! Alright, everybody. Can I get more range? Am I capped on range here? Um, health damage, yeah. Mana bank. Okay, so I can start moving these around a little bit on their targeting. I want one on fastest as well. Most shield, let's get a little bit more shields. Most health, sure. Let's go uh, fastest, I guess. All right, now I'm I'm starting to feel a lot more positive about this about this run. Now that we got that bleed going, I think that that to do this, it's all about stacking these status effects. And there's like a bunch of things you can get that like I don't know improve your damage against units that have whatever. I think armor is potentially still a little bit of a weak spot for us. Okay, well we got uh, we got the boss coming up. I'm a little bit worried about my targeting, but I'm too lazy to actually change it. In that, too many things are going to focus fire the boss. Poisoned enemies take attacks against bleeding enemies have five percent crits. Yeah, I think the 5% crit is better than the extra shield damage. I don't think we need... I kind of want heavy shafts. Because that lets me get a 10% crit. Yeah. Nah, fuck it. No, we're getting, we're getting the 5% crit when I can. Look at... Oh my god. We're actually... You know what? I am... I think this challenge is totally doable. I don't know that we can do it on this run with this short of a path, but I think it's totally doable. Yeah, that's a lot of armor that it looks like. Let's get, uh, we got some armor guys up here that can get upgraded. Okay, I actually have to spend my money. Um, this is shield, which is fine. We can dump a little bit of money into that. Most health. I thought I had another armor guy up this way, but I do not. How's it going? It's going okay. It's going okay. Let's do... No, I don't love that. I don't hate it. Yeah, I guess... That's a decent spot. That gets a good two attacks. Like, it's going to attack here, then it gets to attack again as stuff goes through there. Um, so most armor, armor damage. Okay, we have a shit ton of fucking gold all of a sudden. Um, 25% extra burn damage. Uh, I don't know if I'm capping out my burn damage or not. Let's just go for this. Unlock my treasure chest. A little bit, a little bit disappointing on the, uh, only getting a single chest there. Let's get some mana banks. I'm just going to make a uh, a mana bank around the entire thing. Most armor. Okay. What do we need? I think armor is still a problem for us. This is like... 
non-trivial amounts of armored things coming down here. Mana. Eh, I think we're okay on mana. Yeah, I, I'm always surprised at the end of the game, like, looking at my ballistas, uh, like, the whatever stats, goal damage stats stuff that come out of it. Okay, so are we losing... Yeah, so I can get, I think I can get more of those, like, plus 25% would actually be useful. It's only really useful if you actually are, like, running out of it. Which, I actually don't know that I am. It's hard to tell a little bit. Um, are all of these useless? I guess I could mine a little bit my health back. I'll get like a couple mines. But I think I have to focus on spending my gold right now. Most shields. I'm a little bit worried that I haven't invested very much in shields lately. So we'll do that. Most armor. Yeah, we'll do that. I don't really like getting the mine, I feel, I don't know. Whatever, it's not that much gold. Uh, okay, shields are a problem for us. Progress, most shield, let's give you some upgraded shield damage. Health, most shield, yeah. Okay, I think we've got a decent balance. I'm a little worried about my mana. Uh, do I want the extra 25% bleed? No, I think we get the shield damage. Hard to say. It's hard to tell whether or not my I'm doing enough damage um, for the bleeds to stay on. Armor, most armor. Okay, I think I actually do want a most HP. Most health, okay. Let's upgrade that. Definitely need, I think, some progress, guys. Here. A little bit of a mix. Risky business. Progress as well. Let's just upgrade a mix of that. So we've got shields and uh, the mine is maybe not that bad in the sense like it lets me leak the occasional super fast. Yeah, see, these are the problem is the ones that split apart, right? And it's like, yeah, these super fast guys. We're at 38. I don't know, man. 25% burn damage. I think it burns faster with slow so I think that that is something that we're going to get um how do I kill I gotta figure out how to target is it these what spawn stuff is it those things so they have mostly I think I need to get some life damage going on a little bit earlier on um most health and then just 
Okay, uh, I'm gonna need a mana bank or two as well, I think. And then hopefully I can bleed them down and kill them that way. Don't like my mana going down. And this is gonna go most health. And hopefully we can kill those guys a little bit sooner. Cause that's what it is. I gotta pop those things that spawn them and I gotta figure out a way to target them more efficiently. Like I can get some extra ones that, yeah, I don't know. Because, like, the, the most HP thing is, like, as soon as they're not the most HP, it's going to attack something else. But, w to be honest, that actually is, felt like we did better that round. And I don't think we got too much of a great upgrade. How is my crit looking? It's kind of shit, to be honest. I think that that's something we got to look at fixing up. One mana bank, I guess. Yeah, I don't love building stuff up here because I, I feel like it's not as efficient as building down here in terms of the numbers of attacks. But I have to kill these things earlier on. Shit. Okay, I need more shield damage looking at this, I think. Um, do I have a shield guy up in here? I do somewhere. Oh, shield. I think... Uh, you know, I've said that before that I think that this is the last run round, but I, I have a hard time seeing how we're making it past here. Yeah, I think that that is it. I think the fact that we didn't have universities um, was pretty good. 160 damage of gold is actually pretty decent. But I think, yeah, realistically, if you want to do this, you have to... I didn't have that many upgrades that I didn't want, though. I think the lack of crit. Maybe I focus too much on getting... Um, Poison and burn. I don't know if I had a chance to get crit. Um, yeah, it wasn't bad. It was a little disappointing to like lose at like 40 though. Because it's like, I, I honestly thought we would lose much sooner. And then uh, we would have been able to uh, move on. But yeah, it's interesting to see the... The run where you don't have uh, you don't have um, like the portals they just end really quickly that was kind of interesting um I think I'll do one more let's see what's a interesting interesting achievement win without ever building a blue